Then we got 8 3. Now, I, I did kind of hype this up a little bit, but um, <laughs> the, the start section isn't too bad. Uh, there's these Medusa heads, as you can see. <laughs> Almost born straight from Castlevania, honestly. But they're not too difficult, they just annoy you because of their fucking movements. And they're not as fast or as annoying as in Castlevania, so. And there's not even that many of them, honestly. Uh, but we do have these spike balls, and I usually take one hit from these guys. Especially at the end. Because the end one is ridiculous. Right, I'm gonna just try and take that guy out there and make the jump. And we got another one there. Then you come over against the two ninjas again, but uh, they're really easy. They, they are really easy. And we come across a couple of these guys, yep. Now here's the main... Here's the main what the main puzzle here, which is basically go around and then jump over this one. Wow, I actually made it. I usually mess up on that. Oh god, I forgot about that one. Yeah, so you can get a heart by doing that. There we go. Oh god, I totally messed that one up. Fuck! You can't stand there. Oh damn it, man! I can't believe I. I actually done the the fucking hard one and then I mess up on this one, really. Oh shit. Yeah, so there's some parts of this this one that are quite frustrating, but honestly it's not too bad. Plus you can always reflect reflect the Medusa's uh, shit. And you also get a free shield here. Just uh you probably want to s Yeah, their heads fall off. You probably want to save the shield. And for this part, you can move when they're fucking moving, and then uh, dock when they're not, you know. St standard shit, you know. Fucking Jason ripoffs. Or Freddy ripoffs, sorry. Now we get to this section. Is it this door? Yeah, it's this door. It closes behind you, and we're into f the real hard part of the stage. So, yeah. Right, guys, here's where all the difficulty is in this game. And I'm only going to do like two or three rooms and then save today because this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. First of all, we got this thing, which, you know, I already hate. Uh, you got to jump over it when it's closed, so I'm going to get to this room for fucking save. And I'm going to keep doing this because this is ridiculous, and I'll show you why later. The part at the start, honestly, isn't that difficult. You just you time your shit. But uh, I hate doing this fucking part because you got to fucking push that button constantly, and then just this is your reward at the end. Fucking this shit. I just barely made that. Oh Jesus! Room ten here is pretty ridiculous in what you have to do. You got to do this three times and hit that thing at the end. So yeah, that's all you need to do there. And then we come to this room, room nine. This is another room that you're probably going to take a hit on. You can do the first two jumps relatively easily, just make sure you duck after them. But this third one is ridiculous to do. Pretty much, I got to jump as early as possible and drop, like that. It's, it takes a while to get used to. That one, just make sure you jump at the right time and you should be fine though, there is sort of time limit because it is behind you. Notice the spacing between some of these. Some of them are closer than others, so yeah, be aware of that. Because you're going to need to know that when you come to do this part. I tried to get that one, but that didn't seem to work out, so I'm going to wait for the other ones. So yeah, make sure you know the spacing and you should be able to do that one okay. Now we got this section. So this one you're basically going to be jumping a bunch and then jump off at the end. Don't do that. What the fuck? Okay, looks like I get a second chance then. What the hell? Well, I absolutely cheesed that section. Oh god. Okay, somehow I made that. Alright. I haven't been missing you, fireballs. Why are you here? It's just... It's 
It's got to be perfect for. It's basically when they cross over, I usually jump. And it seems to work, but. You gotta be fucking perfect, and I just took a hit, and I don't even give a shit. Now we're getting into the real shizzle. Right, this one isn't too bad. You just gotta jump there and jump there, and it should be okay for that one, yeah. Right, so electricity. You can have a shot of it uh, there, but basically, you want to jump to the next one when uh, you're heading, when the platform is heading towards you. So uh, yeah, there's how you do that section, that's pretty difficult. Right, here's your electricity section. This is generally okay apart from this one part coming up, which is dick. This part, you got to make sure you got the fucking timing right down. And uh, yeah, you got to fucking time that bit as well as you run past. Now you got to teeter over to the fucking Oh, Jesus. Uh, I was about to go there and there we was. I was slow on the mark there. Just make it past. Jeez. Okay, we got our whole ass room here. Oh, God. Right. Oh, God, I actually made it. Wow. Right, but there's one last thing that you need to do here. Well, we got to take out the last mini boss. I take it it was the guy in the portrait, cause this spirit thing turns into a guy that looks just like him. So once he stabs, run over at him and slash him, and then he'll uh, put this fucking orb out and shit. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. then he'll try and stab you again, and then he'll split, and then you'll hit him again, and then he'll reform again. As long as you keep out of his range, he's not too bad, but uh, you won't be able to get many hits in if you keep just um, being very conservative over here, like I am. You can see, I don't want to get hit too much. I, I managed to get a few in that time. But yeah, get away from his spin, and it's telling me to hurry up because I'm taking fucking long. But at least I get to hear the tune, and he's done. 25 seconds. Oh god, sorry, we're still going. Ah! Uh, Ah, uh, but uh, no, that's at actually the end. Yeah, my timer has stopped going down. At the end, basically a bunch of stars will start to attack you, and it's likely you're going to die at that point. So it doesn't kill you outright, which is good. Oh god, it only gives me another minute, really, a minute and a half. Well, it's probably not going to be very good on my first try here, so whatever. So here's your little final boss, and it's after that gruelingly hard platforming section, this guy is just a fighting boss, so he has two forms, so you got to kind of beat him. I don't know if you have to do it on one light bar or two, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, I think the hardest part I just did, so yeah. I mean, maybe it's still a bit difficult, but I should be able to do it eventually, so let's see here. I'll try and pause this right away. Okay, what's his name? Desta Rosa. Okay. Okay, guys, here is the boss, and this guy is an asshole. Trust me, he will cast a bunch of spells. That fire one is the most annoying, probably, but the lightning one isn't much better. But uh, he, his attacks suck if you get in close for this first form, but he's always jumping away and fucking hitting you with long range spells, it's ridiculous. This ice one is also pretty annoying because it falls you. But the fire one, I, I'm not entirely sure how you're meant to dodge that at all. So he keeps jumping over the screen and fucking casting his fire spells and you saw I was doing pretty well there at the start, but now it's like, oh god. It's pretty even here. But uh, when when you get into close range, he kind of sucks. Uh, well, he kind of sucks a little. I mean, I can probably got him now. Yeah. So when when you get him into close range, he's not that hard. But you know, I could barely take him there. And okay, they're not gonna kill me. That would have been somewhat funny. But yeah, like I said, only his first form. He gets up. 
he's a little pissed, and he actually changes his style completely. He becomes sort of a more uh, brawler now, as you can see. So yeah, it's time for pausing. Okay. Well, there we go. Right guys, well, I'm going to try and beat this guy, but he's insanely difficult, by the way, because um, he, has a, he has a bunch of HP, probably like twice as much as you, and he does a bunch of combo fucking attacks, and it's just not fair. The best thing, best strategy you could have is to kind of stay in the air and try to grapple a bunch, because that seems to do the most damage. But uh, try to do that every time can be quite annoying. I don't think the AI is the greatest, but they still know when you fucking keep doing that, and they will jump in the air themselves. Like that. And I couldn't really block that. Yes, I, f I found out how to block, which is holding back. Lovely. That seems to do the most damage, but you can't really do it that consistently. I mean, you can do it occasionally, but... Sometimes he just does the fucking uppercut, or does that, which takes off ridiculous amounts of your HP there. Oh god. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm gonna try beating the first guy again, uh, the first form again, and then let's try this again. It does restore some of your life bar, but not very much when you heal between them, so let's try and beat this guy. Let's try and get this guy a little easier than I did before. That seems to get him. Okay, if I can keep him, keep doing this, that would be great. Wow, I actually am. Okay, I missed missed that time. The thing is, I hate when he fucking... Oh, God. I was doing so well. Okay, I got that. Oh, damn. He actually hit me with a close range attack. Generally, he's not very good at that. And then he starts doing that. What the fuck? Are you serious? Oh my god. I think he's actually beating me worse than he did before. The hell, man. Well, at least I beat him now. I don't know how much HP you get between restored pair, the different forms, but... Uh, I wouldn't really call it a form, though. He just takes off what he has already. So let's, let's give this another shot, then. Okay, more story I don't understand. Okay, that seems to do a lot better, but, uh... Of course, now I'm getting my fucking ass kicked from the fucking get-go. Alright, let's, let's see if this does any better, then. Oh, God. There we go. I can get in the corner. At least you can block, but I barely do it, because uh, he fucking always seems to hit me. At least, I, at least I was able to outsmart him there. The problem is, he's going to grapple you as well if you just keep blocking, so yeah. I don't know if that's exactly the best tactic you could ever have. Oh god. This guy's insane, man. Like, you just went through fucking hard-ass shit platforming. I don't need to get a fucking classic video, uh, you know, fighting game boss thrown at me. You know, the really cheap ones that just piss the shit out of you. Wow, that was kind of a combo there, but it done, like, no damage, because this guy has so much HP. Wow. Right, well, I'm going to try and fucking beat that uh, first form better and then I'll be right back right I got a lot more health now but you had already hit me right okay now in theory if I keep grappling him and reducing my damage intake he shouldn't be able to hit me forever in theory and uh, hitting him sh hitting his shins doesn't seem to do much damage it's it's not that effective basically but it uh, looks like I've got stuff down a bit here. But the thing is, I think he might get a little stronger when he gets uh, low on health. At least he seems to do a lot more combos that way. So I don't know. Maybe maybe he does, maybe he doesn't, I don't know. 
Like, no one knows anything about this game, so yeah. I haven't found one guide on it. Well, at least at least those grapples do a very decent amount of damage. But uh, you got to be in this fucking danger zone to do them, so you know it's not always the best move. Just most of the time, <laughs> as I'm showing. Ouch! Right, uppercuts not good. Yeah, you need to be close and jumping to do the grapple. I think. Pretty close, yeah. Right, I might win this time, maybe. I've been trying for a while to do this, by the way. Right, let's come on, come on. Oh, you bastard. Stop with your fucking scissor kicks. You bastard! Alright, I'll just knock you out of the air. Come on, I can take that all day. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah! But, oh, almost done. Geez. Thought that would do it, man. Now I bet he's gonna kick my ass. Oh, I kicked- I killed him by fucking hitting him in the shins. Are you serious? Well, you know what? Fuck it. It's done. Oh. That guy's not easy, by the way. If you lost all your life there, I'd be like, oh, Jesus. You get like a million points for clearing. Ralph bonus times 10. Oh, you get a bonus for each life you get. I I almost got 5 million there, I think. And now we get our weird outro, I guess, to a weird game. Well, even though I can't read it, it's, uh, it's still an accomplishment, I guess. <laughs> I don't even know why we're fighting this guy, but oh well. Maybe this will explain some stuff? Probably not. But yes, I'm I'm fairly sure this is yeah, this is the ending. Okay. Thank Ah, oh, so glad. I mean those last few platforming stages were pretty brutal. Even some in the middle of the game or at the start even. I I, uh, I had some trouble with the Egyptian themed levels. Yeah, she's in a containment chamber, okay. Whatever. Well, I have no idea what's going on, but... Oh god, please no. I already killed a bunch of you guys, come on, you aren't that threatening. Oh shit. Oh god. So we were in a castle above the fucking earth. Wow. That was totally just a sonic boom. There's too many of them, man. You gotta admit, the graphics are kind of weird for a PS1 game. Uh, it's kind of Mode 7 graphics. You don't usually do that on PlayStation 1 games. Well, I guess we died then. Okay. No, not really. Because we have a bubble, right? Go there, are we? Yeah, I have no idea what's happening right now. Anyone, please help me. And I guess we get an epilogue. Or someone writing, or I don't know. The music's been really nice, actually. And you know, it's a pretty awesome game, but uh, a little difficult. Maybe too difficult. It's fair, but it's still maybe too challenging. 
And the fighting, uh, the fighting bosses is probably a bit not in your favour. I think the fighting bosses, the fighting game bosses, are kind of unfair a little. I mean, I know I'm button mashing, but even if I knew the the um, all the commands to do the special moves, I still probably wouldn't know how to do anything there, because most of that came down to luck, unfortunate. But as a game, it was pretty fun and rather weird, but whatever. But well, it looks like we're a meteor, you know, I guess no one's really concerned about a meteor coming to crash down on their city, and I don't know how long this, uh, these credits, I assume, take. <laughs> yeah? Uh, they might take a while, judging by the speed of that meteor. Now, I got no idea what happens after this. I've heard that something unlocks if you beat the game with uh, without continuing I'm not entirely sure but uh, hopefully that is the case now you know I never actually beat this game because I had to fucking save state after every stage but if you've seen the difficulty of it you would uh, probably see that I I would have a lot of trouble trying to um, do the, all of this in one run and I've seen someone play through all this with um, with one run, and jeez, that was crazy. But you know, it wasn't commented on, so I figured I'd do a let's play of it. I haven't done a platformer before, so yeah. And you know, I like my obscure Japanese games, clearly. <laughs> oh, special thanks, the only thing I can read here. All I see is moon. But, you know, it's funny, because uh, the people that developed this didn't really make anything else, apart from a few boxing games based off a uh, manga. Which is a shame, because this was actually really good for a platformer. So, yeah. I think the one reason this wasn't released overseas was because it was a 2D platformer, and the PS1 wasn't really doing that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with 2D platformers, though. And with the graphics, it, it 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 was pretty good for being a PS1 game. Came out in 1999, I believe. But uh, yeah, this is the only game you're probably gonna see from New Corporation. Now, do we have to restart, or will it go straight to the menu? Let's see. Probably uh, go straight to the menu, right? Ah, oh, I'm first. Uh, probably because I don't have any other um, scores up there. Right, what? Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, square is go forward, okay. Uh, can I put my full name here? Yes. Yeah, I'm first! By like. 3.8 million and the the oh, versus game continue stage ending data no okay yeah that's just the data versus game what the hell all right let's have a look oh, are you serious you actually have a fighting game in here too oh man M Dista. man that's pretty cool uh, if I just, I mean, I don't have a second player, so I'm not going to be able to do this, but that's pretty cool that they have the fighting game. So, um, yeah. Or wait, what? Okay, I went into the match config. That's pretty cool, so, uh, yeah. Player data, so it looks like you have a fighting game in here too, but you got to beat the game first. Would be nice if it was an option from the start, but, uh, yeah. Can, can I just like... Right, I can select you, but I don't think uh, my controls are going to work. Nope. So, uh, looks like that's it for us and the adventures of Little Ralph. Uh, as soon as I exit... I'm going to go to continue, but uh, I'm assuming this is just going to lead me back at the ending. Yep. 
Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed Let's Play The Adventures of Little Ralph. It was a fun little platformer, and you know, I like my obscure games, so yeah. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time.